In a recent video, I spoke about Lego movies, where I discussed all four theatrically released movies, the Lego Movie 1 and 2, the Lego Batman movie, and the Lego Ninjago movie. However, a lot of you noted that I didn't include one, and that's because I was saving it for this video. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about the legacy of one of Lego's most legendary characters of all time, Clutch Powers, how he rose to fame, how he stooped to unimaginable lows, and what happened to the tease sequel movie that we never saw. What's up LEGO fans, it's LEGO Man Cam, and created in 2010 for his titular movie, LEGO The Adventures of Clutch Powers, Clutch is regarded as the greatest LEGO explorer ever, taking obvious inspiration from Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones. Clutch is a master of all trades, being charming, adventurous, and essentially just good at everything. His name, Clutch Powers, comes from the term LEGO uses to determine the strength of bricks, or their ability to stick or clutch together. The clutch power of a brick has to meet LEGO's perfect standard, as if a brick has too little clutch power, it will fall apart when being played with, but if they have too much clutch power, they won't be able to be disassembled and repurposed into new creative models. But let me take you through the original movie and how this legend came to be. Well, the film was released in the beginning of 2010 and was the first ever LEGO movie on DVD, and I feel as though most kids into LEGO around that time definitely either own or saw this on store shelves. It was everywhere. The movie essentially is a giant mashup and congregation of all the amazing LEGO themes from 2009 and 10. To begin, we find Clutch Powers deep underground searching for a crystal, where he awakens the Crystal King from Power Miners, the first of Clutch's incredible skills. He then solves the problem and heads back to LEGO City in his brand new LEGO Agent sports car, where he is assigned a new task as there has been an incident on the Space Police prison planet. Again, another legendary LEGO theme that I discussed in my recent cancelled LEGO themes video, which is in the description below. Anyway, Clutch's team consists of Brick Masterson, a firefighter, Peg Mooring, a biologist, and Bernie Von Beam, an engineer. Firstly, as an Australian myself, Peg Mooring is quite possibly the most annoying character of all time, with her thick Australian accent. I looked it up to see whether it was a fake accent, so an American trying to do an Australian accent, but no, she's just Australian. Anyway, the gang heads to the prison planet in the Galactic Enforcer from Space Police 3, and they arrive at the planet to find three criminals have escaped. We get to see one who is a wizard, however the other two are kept secret and actually not revealed in this theme. The team get abandoned on the prison planet, however they rebuild a ship and manage to leave. There's a little bit of backstory here between Clutch Powers discovering that the symbol on one of the broken cells aligns with one of the symbols in his father's last journal entry, but I'll be discussing this bit a little bit later later on in the video. Anyway, they discover the wizard is Malak the Malign, who seeks to terrorise the planet Ashlar, which is left without a king. Therefore, the team need to go and save this planet, and train their new prince, Prince Varen, to prepare for battle against Malak. I won't go into every single detail of the plot, however, essentially the story then follows the team in a world that is directly inspired by LEGO Castle a theme that was ongoing and really popular during this time period, with a lot of sets from 2007, 8 and 9 being directly implemented into the movie, such as the designs for the skeletons, trolls, the knights, and then the royalty themselves. Being the absolute goat that he is, Clutch Powers ends up saving the day like you would expect, but if you haven't, please do go and watch this movie because it's genuinely very funny and just a really good time overall. I reckon back in the day, I probably would have watched this one about five times as a kid before we had any big budget LEGO movies to watch. Despite being set up for a sequel, there was no other Clutch Powers movie released. There was a 4D movie that was only able to be watched at Legoland theme parks, similar to that Chima one that I remember watching back when I was a kid, which honestly was nothing crazy though, this was just more of a fun thing to do at Legoland, and the 4D movie only lasted about 12 minutes. Other than that though, we hadn't seen anything from Clutch Powers until Ninjago came along. First mentioned in Season 1, when Cole is discussing how the Blade Cup came to be, but that was just a few years after Clutch Powers had come out, this was only in 2012. However, since then, there was no more references to Clutch Powers made until 2019, some seven years later, as Ninjago transitioned from the Will film, Masters of Spinjitsu phase, to the new Wild Brain just named Ninjago era, beginning with Season 11, Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu. Just quickly, if you do enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button because we're really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and it's the number one thing you can do to help a small channel grow. Clutch became a relatively prominent side character in this series, appearing in multiple episodes. The backstory behind Clutch Powers in Ninjago
Santiago is that he's a member of the Explorers Club, where he goes around collecting priceless artifacts on his adventures. He appeared in almost all of the Wild Braden seasons of Ninjago, those being seasons 11, 12, 14 and 15, as well as the island. However, his character was unfortunately not the clutch powers we all knew and loved. I'll quickly just mention his physical Lego appearances, because he first appeared in 2019 in this Ninjago minifigure pack for series 11, and later appeared in Ninjago City Gardens in 2021. With that set retiring at the end of this year, this might be your last opportunity to get that figure. However, Bricklink and eBay are definitely your friends. His appearance has also changed, featuring mutton chops, a fake eye patch, and no longer sporting the Lego logo on his arm. It's a shame we never got the regular Lego Clutch Powers minifigure from the original movie, however this one is somewhat close enough, with the torso and hairpiece being nearly identical, and just imagine that this is kind of a much older version of the character. In Ninjago, he was presented as a lazy, narcissistic, and selfish explorer, only caring about himself, seemingly undoing all of the character development that he went through in the original movie. He constantly tries to undermine the ninja, and essentially only cares for himself and his Explorers Club membership, in which he only agrees to explore the Desert of Doom once he realises his membership will expire. His behaviour even continues into the Island episodes, where he insists on stealing the Storm Amulet, which is literally prophesied to cause ultimate destruction, all because he just wants back his status as the greatest explorer. He's pretty much shown as being a fraud, a phony, and a coward, which totally goes against anything we already knew about him. Now obviously the question can be raised here as to whether this is the same clutch powers from 2010 or not. Tommy Andreessen, one of the head writers for Ninjago, claimed that this version of clutch powers was better for the series as he had more entertainment value, and it is the same character that has been a part of Ninjago since season 1. But as to whether this is the same character from the original Clutch Powers movie is debatable. His last appearance was in the final episodes of Ninjago season 15, Crystallized, where he can be seen running around with the teapot of Tyran, the teapot from Ninjago season 6, which contains the evil Jin Natakan. This is more likely just a joke rather than an actual tease for a future season, but I certainly would love to see him return sometime. He is yet to appear in the new Dragons Rising TV show, and with the show now now having had a new creative direction, I honestly doubt we're going to see him again, considering other prominent Ninjago side characters like Misako, Ronan and Darith are all yet to appear, and I feel like they would be much more deserving to make a reappearance in the show than Clutch Powers, who was always kind of a douchebag to the ninja. Now there is one more thing that I'd like to discuss that I mentioned earlier, and this is the possibility of a sequel to the original movie. Now while I believe this is highly, highly unlikely, and seemingly completely dead, there was an original idea with some serious legs to it. Back when I was discussing the original 2010 movie, I mentioned that three villains escaped, with one that was tackled in the film being Malak the Malign. Well, from the other two to escape, we know that one of them was named Omega. Now, this character was never shown, so we have little to no idea who it could be. However, the Greek letter Omega is the symbol that was in Clutch's dad's journal and on the prison cell. The end of the first movie does end with Clutch's boss also telling him that their new mission is to track down Omega, but unfortunately, as we know, this never happened. However, if you are a fan of Ninjago, and since we know that the Clutch powers and Ninjago worlds are somewhat intertwined, if not directly correlated, you might remember Omega, the main villain from Ninjago Season 10, March of the Oni. Now, does this name correlation mean anything? Probably not, but many fans are led to believe that this is the same villain from the original Clutch Powers movie, who maybe escaped to the Oni and Dragon Realm, but was only released once the events of Ninjago Hunter transpired. Other than that though, that is essentially everything to do with the legendary Clutch Powers over the past 15 years of LEGO. Let me know in the comments what you think of Clutch Powers, and if you want to see him return in the near future, whether that's the original one from the movie, or the one from Ninjago. And please leave a like and subscribe if you did go in to enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time.